Hi everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit uh, with my envelope punch board and if you follow me you'll know that I'm absolutely loving um, this one. I bought it down at Sir Stampalot when I was there a couple of weeks ago and the girls were raving about it and I must admit I hadn't really paid much notice or much attention to them um, but I came home with mine and I've made lots and lots of different things with it. So today I'm going to show you how I make um, these little ribbons or ribbon bows out of paper. Um, this was on my blog a couple of weeks ago, this little chocolate box. Unfortunately the chocolates have long gone. <laughs> they didn't last, or well, they lasted a week which I thought was really good. Um, so we'll have to go back to Stratford to get some more um, before Mother's Day. Anyway, um, let me give you some dimensions. Great way of using up all your little pieces of paper. Um, I'm using six by six papers for um, this little bow that I'm going to show you how to make. Um, and you can use different widths as well. So I've been experimenting with um, wider and smaller bows. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to make a one inch wide bow. So what I've got is three pieces of, oh, these should be, let me just check, three pieces of paper one inch long, uh, one inch wide by, there should be, one at four inches. Oh, that's the one, let's just trim him down. So you want two at four inches and one at five. You can go bigger, but I think they get a bit, what have I done there? They get a bit gangly as you go bigger. So, um, but you can go wider with your paper, but then the gap in the middle, the bow curves aren't as um, deep. So I think that's it. So you want two pieces at four inches long by one inch wide and one piece at five inches long by one inch wide and nifty little tool if you haven't used one already you've got a punch on the inside on the actual board and then you've got a really nice rounder for doing those envelope rounds on the other side as well so we're going to use both sides um, but we're going to start with one of the four inch pieces and we're going to put it let me show you this little you can see it. In here there is um, a centre mark, I don't know if you can see it there, and the marks on the board are for the envelope shapings and scorings. So what we're going to do is not put our paper in at an angle and score, we're going to put it centrally, lining it up with that centre mark and if I can do this this way. We're going to punch, so let me just put it down. And that gives you your ribbon tails. And then I didn't line it up very well, but let me do it again. So put it in and punch. That one's a better one. So that gives you the bottom of your bow. And then I'm going to take my second piece of four inches and I'm going to line it up with the two inch mark. So right up against this back um, edge, line it up with the two inch mark, ignore the markings on the board and punch. And then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to line it up with the two inch mark again and punch. And that gives you the centre of your bow. And then I'm going to put those corners in the back punch and punch them to give that nice rounded effect. So that's piece number one. And then I'm going to do the same with piece number two. And it was five inches long, so I'm going to put it up against the two and a half inch mark along this back edge here and punch and turn it round and line it up with the two, in, two and a half inch mark again and punch and then I'm going to round those corners off using the back punch. Line 
like that. So that forms the three pieces of your bow. Um, I'm also going to do the curves with this one as well. This is the one that we put the tails on. So it was four inches long, halfway is two, so I'm lining it up with the two inch mark and punch and line it up with the two inch mark again and punch. And that's it. We've used the envelope punch board now, so let's move that out of the way. And then we're going to put them together. So first of all, you want to start just curling your paper. So just run your fingers underneath and over the top just to start the curve going. Ink your edges if you want to. And then what we're going to do is bring the, the end of that piece over and match it with these curves here in the middle and stick it down. Now I quite like glue dots for this um, but I'm going to just use tacky glue. Let's put a little bit in the middle. So you don't want to fold your bow, you just want to curve that section over and match those curves and just hold it until the glue takes. It does have a tendency to ping back, so let's do that one as well. You can go longer and make wider bows if you want to, but I quite like dinky little ones. So that's stuck, so can you... <laughs> not. Hold it again, perhaps I'll press it down on here. So that's the top little bow, and then we're going to do the same with this one as well. So curve it first, have the right side of the paper facing you, and curve it. Fold it over, and then put tacky glue just on the ends. On the end there, a little bit in the middle. Not right in the middle, but just where those curves start to curve in. Fold over and just hold it until it sticks. So you're not taking that end right to the centre, you're taking it just to match those curved edges up. Ping, here we go. Perhaps do it on there. But what I don't want to do is flatten the curved ends. So just pinch it in the middle like that. Has it stuck? You can always use a pen, pesky thing, or a paintbrush. There we go. I was doing this yesterday. Right, let's hold them down again. So you can always use a pen or a paintbrush just to curve those ends again if you want to. Just be careful not to get a crease on them. So there's big piece, little piece, and then you want to stick those two together. So a little bit of tacky glue in the middle. Use the end of my scissors just to push those together. So hold it just for a minute. And then you want to stick it to your ribbon end. So tacky glue again. it there and that's it one little bow and then I'm going to put um, some paper around the middle contrasting paper around the middle for the center now I'm not going to pull it flat I want it to be raised so I'm going to put tacky glue on the back again secure it first so I'm having the contrasting side showing and then I'm going to just lift it up and over. <laughs> it is fiddly. Just hold it there, lift it up and over. This piece was about one and a half inches long but once you've um, wrapped it round you can trim it down and then 
fiddle about with it just to get it how you want it and then stick it down on the back so I want mine like that so I'm going to put some more tacky glue underneath and just hold that for a couple of seconds until it takes without squashing the front down and there it is one little bow um, this one is slightly smaller so I've gone to three quarters of an inch on this one and you can do a half inch one in exactly the same way but let me just show you what you need to do if you take your paper narrower so to make a half inch wide um, bow do exactly the same I've got two pieces at four inches of paper by half an inch and one piece at five inch by half an inch and I'm going to do exactly the same to start with so one of the four inch pieces I'm going to put in the center there and punch the tails let's do it again not quite center but um, we'll work with it and then the larger two pieces I'm going to line up with the centimeter marks that um, run at the tenths of centimeters on the actual base of the board so this is my four inch piece so I'm going to line it up at the two inch mark again and then I'm going to move it away and actually line the paper up with the run of grey markings turn it round and do the same again so line up at the two inch mark along the top of those grey markings and punch so you get a nice little tiny bow and then just use that back punch to do the ends again excuse my hand so that's one teeny weeny and then I'm going to do the same with the five inch piece so I'm going to line it up at the two and a half inch mark move it away line it up with those um, centimeter markings turn it around to do it again and press and then just use the back to curve the ribbon ends it's so easy and there's a lovely it's a lovely punch it's really easy to just press down you don't need to have two hands um, and then we're going to do the same again so we're going to turn it over we're going to put glue on those ends and a little bit in the middle curve forgot that bit curve your paper if you do forget that you can always do it around a pen and pinch take the pen out and do the other side so roll it around your pen only want to stick this little bit in the middle and not the curl of the paper. So there's our little centerpiece. Cutie little bow this one. And then let's do the same with this one. Let's curve it first. Bring those ends over and bring the end. Whoops. It does help to put it down on the surface. Definitely. They are pingy little things. Stick down. It doesn't want to stick. Let's try it that way.
fingers crossed it's not going to ping back and then I'm just going to put glue in the middle put the two together use my scissors just to stick them together like that and then oh we didn't do the ends let's just do that so line to the centimeter mark again punch and oh, I'm not sure that's in the middle no that one's slightly off let me just trim it but you get the idea <laughs> trim those out, you won't see them. And then that's going to sit on in the middle. So on that funny bit that I've made. Stick that one together. And then I'm going to have a pink middle running around it. Shouldn't do it on my board really, if I get covered in glue. All the little bits, let's move those out of the way. So that's stuck, and then I'm just going to put the middle. What should we have? I've got lots of bits here. Let's have a little bit with some words on. So I'm going to start to curve it first. I'm going to crease this one and put a little bit of glue on the underside, and then that can just oops. itself and then I'm going to take this over, trim it off, it's too long, and then just without squashing the middle, catch it underneath. Fold those over. Give it a minute just to take. And there it is, dinky little bow. And then you can use them on anything. That one um, that I've just made is coming down again. Did I put glue in the right place? I'm sure I did. Let's just hold it a minute. And that one I'm going to put on this... Um, card that I've made out of the botanical tea paper and I'm going to just put it across there just to finish off the card. So when it's finished pinging up I'm just going to put a little bit of tacky glue on the back and then stick it over that centre emblem. like that and that's it that's how to make um, little bows with the envelope punch board so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll be back soon with some more